to the Brotherhood of Men. What's today's subject? Well, if you looked at the thumbnail, which I know you did because you clicked on this video, it's what is a positivism? So what is it? Well, I'm glad you asked. You came to the right channel to have it explained to you. But then again, that's why you're here. A posmetism happens in nature. It's usually in the insect world, in uh, lizards and amphibians. What it means is a creature that is so garishly and brightly coloured as to warn you of its toxicity. So most insects, they try to blend in with their background. They don't want to be predated. They don't want to be eaten by birds or other insects or any sort of creatures, mammals as well. So they try and blend in. They mimic things like leaves and branches and sticks and detritus. Even some, they mimic bird poo because what bird's going to want to eat its own poo? No, they mimic these things to try and blend in so that they won't get eaten and go about their existence of reproducing and carrying on in their life without being eaten. But some insects fight back. Some insects eat certain foodstuffs, plants, etc., that allow them to use the toxins in those plants. And the plants are trying to fight against the insects to stop them being eaten, that they create toxins. Some insects eat the toxins and are able to secrete that in their skin, some insects, lizards and amphibians, um, in their, into their skins that makes them toxic. So if something tries to predate them, tries to prey on them, they will make that predator ill or kill it. So to advertise the fact, instead of trying to blend in, they literally make themselves as bright and as garish as they possibly can so that they stand out, so that the predator can see them and go, whoa, not touching that, that's, that's, ooh, no, that's going to hurt me. So they stay away from it. And everybody gets to live their life. The predator doesn't fall ill or die from eating something that's toxic and the insect or lizard or whatever gets to live its life without being preyed upon. And that's what a posmetism means. It's that act of being so garishly bright as to show that you are toxic and poisonous, that you are going to do harm to anything that preys upon you. So why do I bring it up? I mean, this is ch this channel, after all, is called Brotherhood of Men. What's that got to do with the Brotherhood of Men? Well, it happens in our human lives. Have you seen those women with the brightly coloured hair? And you know what I mean, the oranges and blues and purples and greens and multicolours, shaved at the side or at the back and... Tattoos all over them, literally a sleeve tattoos. Hey, because I'm unique. What? You were unique when you were born. You didn't need all of that. Piercings all over the face and other bodily parts. They are basically showing a posmetism. They are basically saying to you, I have made some really, really bad toxic decisions in my life, chaotic decisions that have led me to be this broken that if you have anything to do with me I am going to poison you I am going to be toxic to you I'm going to hurt you so stay away don't be foolish enough to think that you're going to be that man that can fix her she's already broken unless she's getting professional help to help her through the traumas she has chosen in her life because most of them have their bad decisions they made in their lives to end up that broken mess and unless they're getting professional help to deal with that situation you aren't going to fix them so stay away and it's not just the garish colours. And I mean, let's be honest, there are so many women you see out there now, young women, who look like they've been attacked by a toddler who had a pack of crayons and a nail gun. It literally looks like they've been attacked by this toddler. He's got, let me scribble all these colours all over you. Let me use this nail gun. They look the mess that they are. But that's a posmetism. It's coming out. And they think they're building a shell. 
But is shelled to what? To a broken toy. Because that's what's inside. And you're not going to be able to fix them. Professional help will fix them. And you'll know when they're fixed because they won't any longer look like the mess that they are. But not just them. There are also those who do it in their weight. The ones that wear the fake hair, the big eyelashes, the massive nails like claws, like talons. Because again, they're trying to build a shell around themselves, almost like armour. For what? Because they made bad decisions and are still making them. Aposmatism. It's there for you to look at. If you ignore it, you'll be like that bird or that insect or that mammal that decides to prey on that brightly coloured book and end up dead or really ill. So if you ignore it, that's what will happen to you. They're basically saying, stay away, I'm toxic and I will harm you. And they will. So stay away. Give them, them no time. I don't care if they look beautiful they're broken you're not going to fix them and it's not your job they broke themselves they need to fix themselves before they're any good for anybody else so that's what a posmatism is i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like it helps the algorithm don't forget to subscribe hit the bell icon that way you won't miss out on the future content that i'm going to be putting out and some of them are well all of them I think are absolute corkers you're gonna learn something new every time give me a comment think do you agree with me about the aposmatism do you agree that they literally are advertising the fact that they're toxic and that you shouldn't be involved let me know in the comments down below and tell me is there anything you'd like me to talk about maybe tell me your story anyway my name's Andy R this is the Brotherhood of Men and I'm going for a cup of tea now, because I think I've earned one. Bye.